Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition. I'm your host, Bring It Don. Now we're going to go in the inn. <coughs> this classy looking fella. Oh. Oh, that's right, that's where I died last time. Oh, it wasn't one I could block. Missed. Well in on him. Yeah. Oh, time out, time out. Got one of them. Let's go take care of this guy with Shai Ka real quick. Oh no, Shai Ka! It's a bad idea. Oh, I'm gonna. Heal for a one to one ratio, real quick. I'll try not to. Aha! Which one is it? Ha! Alright. That should be good to take you on. Maybe not, though. Oh, which one is it? Green one? Nope. All right. You're going down. So I played for honor for a long time. I know. Uh, I got reaction times, bro. They're not showing, but just sit back, hold block, and if it's a uh, purple orb. Roll away or blue, if it's a um, green orb, just keep blocking and just keep maintaining your distance. Yeah. So if it's a regular attack, it uh, won't hit you. That's how I plan on dealing with those guys. Oh yeah, I remember this. Kind of. I, I remember, remember this little creepy guy. Um, can I not open this up yet? Maybe. Maybe later. Ends in a very sad state. I would not pay to stay here. I watched in awe as you dispatch those things. Not many of your kind can deal with ghosts as easily as you do. See, he says, your kind. Yeah, my kind? No, 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 heavens no. You are a warrior, are you not? Bound by honor and given strength by training. Is that not the noblest of classes? Yeah, I meant no offense. No apologies needed. These are stressful times for us all. But I forgot myself. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, Traveler. I am the Keeper, as they call me. Uh, tell me, did you happen to come across one of us on your way up here? We sent him not long ago to search for help. Yeah, he was, uh... He was killed. It was the forest, Shadow. She's taken another from us. We hoped we had found a way to deal with the fox, but we were wrong. Have you lost many people? Some. She does not attack us here at the inn. Those few we have dared send out to the forest do not return. We have tried so hard to find a way to end the fox's attacks. She must be stopped. We thought we were close, but no. Uh, How did you plan to deal with her? Well, that is quite the thing to ask, isn't it? Quite the thing indeed. How are we to know we could trust you? We do not trust the hunter at the temple, for instance. That is why we will not give him what he seeks. Yes, we have the missing crystal from the temple. We have kept it here safe and away from the hunter. Uh, yeah, why, why are you keeping because it? Because we could not trust anyone else to have it. One of us here in the inn overheard the hunter and the big man, who are now at the Forest Shadows Temple. The hunter spoke of a ritual that would let him reach the forest shadow. But he's a fool. 
He thinks to find the fox and seek out her help. Her help? She will not help anyone, least of all us at the inn. To save the hunter from his own folly, we took the crystal before he could reach the temple. Uh, obviously he did that, but I'll ask that it anyway. Is it exactly. Whatever the ritual does, if it reaches the forest shadow, then we must take the opportunity to destroy her once and for all. He would not have taken that chair. I must know that you will use it for the right reasons. You must kill the forest shadow. Do so, and I will give you a half year's worth of taxes in silver. Um... Yeah, we're at a humble innkeeper get that kind of money. We are a long way from the Imperial City here. The tax collector's arms are only so long, you know? I have been carefully collecting this silver for years. But the death of the murderous fox is more important to me. Yeah, why are you so positive she has to die? Look around even this hill. Surely you can see the corruption. What creature would be powerful enough to cause such a thing? This so-called guardian of the forest must be behind what's happening here. She sickens the trees and summons the go- There can be no other way. The forest shadow must die to save us and cure this forest. Uh, I could. I could just kill you and take the crystal and the silver. Do I want to sit? Let me move that cursor for you. I think it's obvious what I have to do. You will aid us. You must. Oh, yeah, I'll take blood money, but I'm not leaving without the crystal. You are a fool. The forest shadow is nothing next to us. You do not know who you dare to threaten. But you will. Yes, you will. Look upon us as we really are. Yeah, it's a turn of those little monster things, right? Gaze upon our forms and bask in our glory. You should be honored to see the true strength of the cannibals. This is what you threaten, human? You think to take the crystal from us, but we are too strong. Too strong for you. Uh... Yeah, you're monsters. We are not monsters. No. We are the servants of the Mother, an ancient and powerful demon. She has taught us to eat the flesh of humans, and our bodies have grown strong as a result. We are cannibals. And you will be our next meal. You would have made a valuable ally. But you must not be allowed to aid the forest shadow or the hunter at the temple. Tear him to pieces. We will feast tonight on those succulent flanks. How do you know my flanks are succulent? Get out of here, you weirdo. These guys are pretty, uh... Oh, goodness. Maybe I should have picked a fight with these guys. It's a lot of them. Notice the guy up there didn't change, though. That'll be important in a bit. Yeah! You're right, dude. Not today, man. Chaika, hang in there, bro. I need you to keep taking those, uh, few guys. Oh, no. Oh, he did his part. He... Yeah? I think I can do this with the spear anyway. Well, that was a little annoying. Should probably take care of him real quick while uh, I still got some focus left over. Not today, man. Faster and stronger than you. Oh, uh oh. Uh, I forgot about that. Alright, dude, come on. Oh, I got some of my chi back. I leveled up. So these guys take care of. 
Easy peasy, man. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. Let's see about my chi back. Oh, these guys aren't as strong, are they? Okay, that's fair. Yeah, all these guys at once. Yeah, I remember there's something weird with these guys. I didn't remember what, but I knew that I couldn't trust them. So no matter how much gold they offered me, I wasn't going to side with them because they were some weird fellows. I ran out of focus. I got the temple crystal. That was astonishing. I haven't seen such martial skills in an eatery since the last time I added ginger to my wife's hot and sour soup. Thank you for your great kindness in rescuing me. Now that these beasts are dead, I can finally talk to you. My name is Henpecked Ho, and before you ask, I'm not one of those monsters. They kept me prisoner so that I could seem normal to the customer. <laughs> Please meet you, Henpeck. My wife is unique. To say that she is as enduring as the wall itself is to do a disservice to her persistence. I could make similar comparisons between the force of her will and the Imperial Army, but I think you have the picture. Uh, where is she now? The last I saw of her, she was in the Imperial City. I was due back more than a week ago, and if she hasn't torn the place down looking for me, I'll be surprised. That's beside the point for now. I must thank you, as I clearly owe you my life. These cannibals were getting desperate enough to cook even someone as ropey as me. The last thing I needed was to be dragged into the caves below. Um. Yeah, let's ask I've about the caves. About the caves from the cannibals. There's something down there they call the Mother, and I think she, it, whatever, is what made them what they are. Yeah, what do you know about the Mother? She is some sort of greater demon the cannibals serve. I think she's the reason they're as twisted as they are. From what I overheard, the mother was trapped in this hill before Sagacious Chen forged the Jade Empire. But something has disturbed her. I don't know how or why this mother of theirs has returned to the world. But if she can do this to men, she must be stopped. I agree. Uh, how do they reach that the caves? That is something I do not know. They would leave the inn and then return. I wasn't in a position to ask for details. Uh, yeah. Alright, that's enough. You killed the cannibals up here, but there's more in the caves below. I don't know how they got in or out, or how they took prisoners down there. I do know that they were terrified of something called the Forest Shadow. I'm willing to bet that would be a good place to start. If you're planning to tackle these beasts, I want to help. In my own way, of course. I'm not much with my fists. Not anymore, anyway. But, you'd be surprised what tricks an old bun master might know. Have you ever heard of Drunken Master style? Why, yes, I have. I was a master, top of my game and well known in Phoenix Gate, one of the great cities in the prosperous east. My skills earned me fame, fortune, and a wife. Can you teach me drunken master? Teaching is all I can do. As I said, fame, fortune, and a wife. I discovered fairly early on that she had opinions, most of them regarding alcohol and my regular consumption of it. I can still teach you though. She has never expressly forbidden that. I have a few bottles on me right now if you'd like to learn. Yeah, teach Pay me. Pay attention, I don't like repeating myself. Now, when I am with you, I can throw you bottles of wine. You must pick these up in order to use Drunken Master. The effect wears off quickly, but I will make sure you don't run out of wine, as long as you keep the enemies off of me. Now, watch my technique. Legendary Strike, Drunken Master. So it is pretty strong. There, you got it. Your job isn't done, though. There are still more cannibals in the hit. I don't know how to... The cannibals were dead set against that forest shadow. They didn't... I now see the flaw in teaching you the style. I'll keep you supplied with wine if you keep those beasts away from me. Okay. So now I can use, um... 
the drunken master. He does die, from what I remember, very quickly. Uh, it's a bit of a struggle keeping him alive. And it's it's pretty strong early game. Uh, the damage will fall off later. <clears throat> I might stick with Chai Ka and actually put him, her, onto uh, support mode so they can just replenish my health while I'm... Yeah. This is the end. Fair word, Jim. Just one silver per container. It's a little disappointing. Yeah. Irresistible spirit. <clears throat> yeah. That's common in uh, Chinese and Japanese folklore too, I believe, that uh, boxes are... Oh, Ultimate Scholar Gem. Are notorious tricksters. I'll keep doing a 2 to 1 ratio on that. Well, I might actually start changing it up. I, haven't, I don't know yet. Need one more for that. I'll just save up my point. Oh, I gotta pick that up. I'll start saving up points when I need to. And I don't need to yet. Oh, both these are pretty good. Recover chi and recover health. Chi might be better. Well, I don't use magic, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't remember who he is. I thought he was him. I know who this is. Oh, no, I know who that is. All right. Yeah, so I know, I know who the, all the followers are then. I think. Uh, I might be forgetting one of them. But I'm not going to stick to a set open palm or closed fist path. I'm going to just kind of pick what I feel like picking as I go. Um, which I recommend you really do with any game, at least your first playthrough. Because you usually enjoy it a little more. Don't worry about achievements and all that. I'm just going to pick what I think is best for the at the time. Uh, normally I'd be a collector. I'd try to collect everything that I can. But since in this game you can't get all the techniques uh, in one playthrough, I, meh, I'm just kind of kind of winging it. Look, I'm no good with forest trees or temp. You know how it goes. You wander the countryside, maybe set fire to a few fields, pass out behind a barn, get chased by farm dogs. Before you know it, you're here, talking with you. It gets me the ladies. Ah, of course not. Just look at me. A lady's gotta be damn drunk before she'd be impressed by my name. Well... There was that time during the fall of the Nine Fathers, when I would crash down on a town like a black storm of death, rending flesh from bone. I was a force of destruction. The streets ran red with blood and everyone I approached screamed, The Black Whirlwind is here! It might have been that, or maybe I thought it up when I was drunk. Either way, it stuck. Good. All right. Oh, it's like it. Oh, whoa. Let's talk to him. Oh my goodness. I'll figure Greetings, it out. Greetings, my friend. Have you had any luck finding the crystal? Um... Yeah, I have it right here. You have it? Excellent. I should return and report this to Lord Yun. He will want to hear this news. The crystal fits into the central pedestal atop these steps, unlocking the lens arms in the lower furnaces so they can direct light to the remaining furnaces. The other furnaces have colored crystals in them, presumably to alter the light. Lord Yun's father called this the Ritual of Seasons. A forest, he said, cares about only two seasons. The cooler air of winter and the blistering heat of summer are the only things it notices. It's attached to some sort of lens that I believe is designed to focus light from the furnaces. If you get the ritual right, it is supposed to reveal the forest shadow. 
Winter skies are crisp and blue, while the fields of spring are green. Summer's heat is burning red, while in autumn yellow leaves are seen. Okay. All right. Summer and winter seem to be the key. Black Whirlwind will stay behind to offer whatever help he can. If anyone can control him, it's you. Hey, I'm not some cheap bottle of wine to be passed around. Damn it, even wine shouldn't be passed, in my opinion. Lord Yun paid you very well to safeguard his men, and now you're being paid to safeguard his new agent. Surely you don't mean to go back on your word. My word isn't worth a damn thing. <laughs> that said, I'm still reeling from actually losing to anyone short of an army. Yeah, six me, you'll see more than that. Let me level with you. I don't lose fights, and I damn well didn't expect to lose one in this forest. Then you come along and beat me handily. My only rules are don't touch my axes. Don't touch my wine, and don't get between me and my enemies. If you can live with that, we'll get along just fine. Well, you, me, and the kid, I hope she's well trained. You smell funny. Ha <laughs> ha! You'll get used to it, kid. It kind of grows on you after a while. Ew. Be safe. Spirits willing, I will reach Lord Yon's camp quickly. If you need more supplies or training, that is where I will be. Well, I kind of wanted to sell Let's stuff. Let's go find something and make it stay a lot worse. Um. You got it, but you can't actually use my axes. Just so we're clear, I'm the only one who touches the axes. All right. I don't remember what his support. Oh, he doesn't have a support. But he is a very, very strong follower. He's very good in the old uh, mind plus twelve. Goodness. Um, I'll definitely be equipping that. Let's see. Intuition, mind, body, intimidation. Let's get rid of that and equip that. Body 2, spirit, charm. Okay. Ancient game. No, no, I was worried about that. All right. So I need to go and turn on this stuff. All right, that's locked in place. So I need blue. All right, no, I need to put the crystal in first, right? All right, now I should be able to pull these. <coughs> At least that's what I hope. Let's, uh... It's white. Do I need to pull this blue one? All right, that's blue. Now I need to do the red. Because there's only two that matter. I wonder if the, if the other two even do anything. We got a lemon say no. But maybe? think oh, a thousand experience also look at all that focus I have now that is fantastic oh goodness and heaven next time Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in the next episode.